to welcome the Vice Chancellor's procession. No crossing of the procession. We have leading the procession our principal assistant registrar, Senate, Mr. Andrew of Tenebu, followed by the Director of Academic Planning, Professor Akimula. We have the Dean Agriculture. Professor Adeshiji, Dean of Arts, Professor Hindi, Dean of Basic Clinical Sciences, Professor Akopitu, Dean of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor Ratsuji, Dean of Clinical Sciences, we have the Dean of Education, Dean of Engineering and Technology, Dean of Environmental Sciences, Dean of Law, and Deans of various faculties. We have the Dean of Life Sciences, Dean of Management Sciences, Pharmaceutical Sciences, Physical Sciences, Social Sciences, Dean of Australian School, Dean of Students of Affairs, Provost Floyd of Health Sciences, The University Librarian, the DBC Management Sciences, DBC Academic, the inaugural lecturer, Professor Jacob Apioto Badino. And of course, the Times Chancellor.
let's be seated. Gentlemen, I'm the chairman of this occasion. Represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research, Technology and Innovation, Professor Mukahi Olayi Kapuhari, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic, Professor Sylvia Malamu, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Management Services, Professor P.F. Sudeh, the University Registrar will be represented by one of, step, one of our deputies, Mr. Tony Bangui. The University Librarian, Professor Wahab Isa. The Provost College of Health Sciences, Professor Larry Waji Adidri. The inaugural lecturer, Professor Jacob Abiodun Gadim. The Dean of Students Affairs. The Dean of Postgraduate School. Deans of various faculties here present. The Director of Academic Planning, Professor Yoda Dimola. Directors of various centers and units here present. Distinguished professors, their present. Our royal fathers, their present. The university scholars, their present. Friends of the university, Pioneer. Distinguished members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome to the 198th in the series of inaugural lectures of the University of Ghana. The Vice Chancellor, sir. We are aware that managing mathematics as a subject, but some people are gifted to have talent regarding the subject. And I have observed said, and one of such people is the inaugural lecturer of today. Mr. Chairman, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the 198th in the series of the number of lectures of this university has been entitled God the First and Great Mathematician, Man the Ultimate User. And the lecture is to be delivered by a first class graduate of mathematics. A professor of mathematics, a former head of the department of mathematics, a, Senate representative, a former Senate representative of the Star Disciplinary Committee, a former dean of postgraduate school, and the acting dean of physical, physical, physical sciences, Professor Jacob Abiyoko Dahi. Mr. Vice Chancellor, it's over to you. The Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, Professor Iso Malamo, Deputy Vice Chancellor Honig May Services, Ms. Sophia Sudeh. The representative of the registrar, and in his own right, a deputy registrar, Mr. Pamigui, the university librarian, Professor Abdulha Isa, the provost of the College of Earth Sciences, the deans of the various faculties, clearly that of uh, physical sciences. The Director of Academic Planning, Professor Ayo Adimola, 
distinguished uh, professors that are here present, scholars of the university that are here present, lawyer fathers that are here present, members of the nuclear and extended family of uh, our inaugural lecture of today, distinguished friends of the university, members of the press. I remember our students, apart from the scholars, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the university to the 199th in the series of inaugural lectures of this uh, great university. I'll proceed to read the biography of uh, our inaugural lecturer of today. And so I will request you to be outstanding while I read. Our inaugural lecturer of today is Professor Teko Abiyodu Badeo, who was born on the 24th of December 1951 in Lagos. He attended Christ Adjikan Primary School in Yomoro, Kora State, and later proceeded to Oro Grammar School in Kora State, where he graduated in 1969. Professor Badeo had his higher school certificate from Gomez Secondary School in Lori from January 1970 to December 1971. He obtained his BSc degree in mathematics with a post class in 1976 from Amadou Bele University, and a scholarship from the federal government of Nigeria. He was also in the University of Waterloo, Ontario, Canada where he backed his master's degree in mathematics in 1980 and a PhD in civil engineering in 1984. Mm -hmm. So Fabio began his career as a mathematics teacher at Gomez Secondary School, Panshin Lab 2 State, as in 1977 as a youth core member. He later joined the services of the University of Lurie as an assistant lecturer in 1977, rising through the ranks to become a professor on 1st October 1993. <laughs> he has garnered over 40 years teaching experience. <laughs> professor Badeo is a dedicated researcher, and his main research interest is in solid and fluid methods. His administrative experience in the university included the head of the Department of Mathematics from 1991 to 2005. He was the Senate Representative on Staff Disciplinary Committee. He was also a dean of postgraduate school from 2005 to 2009. Mm -hmm. Professor Stadion has a lot of publications to his credit and is happily married to Mrs. Felicia Sidio Adibadeo and the marriage is blessed with children and grandchildren. Represented by the Vice Chancellor of Research, Technology and Innovation, the three Deputy Vice Chancellors, the Registrar, the University Librarian, the Bursar, the Provost, College of Earth Sciences, the Dean, Faculty of Physical Sciences, Dean of other faculties, Postgraduate School, and Student Affairs. Director of various units, professors and other members of Senate, head of major departments, especially the head of the Department of Mathematics. <laughs> My 
I love spiritual and temporal. Students of this Better by Far University, especially the students of the Faculty of Physical Sciences. <laughs> Members of my family, nuclear and extended, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen. Preamble. Let me start this inaugural lecture by thanking and praising the Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for all he has done, what he is doing, and what he would still do in my life and that of members of my family. Specifically, the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscience God deserves all glory, dominion, adoration, and gratitude for preserving my life to see this day and for the enablement to deliver this lecture to this eminent and distinguished, distinguished gathering. How it all started. I was born in a polygamous family. My late father, Pa Joel Alamumbalia, a Lagos based businessman, was blessed with three wives and 11 surviving children. A complete football team, you will say. <laughs> My loving mother, Mrs. Abigail Adedium, Adedium, of blessed memory, was the first wife and gave birth to four surviving children. I happened to be the last child of my mother, but the fifth out of the 11 children. By the time my immediate senior brother, the first child, and myself were completing the secondary school education, our father was becoming old and started planning to retire from active business life. This implied leaving Lagos for our hometown, Idomo Oro, which is about 45 kilometers from Migori, Kora State. It therefore needed somebody to take over the business in Lagos. I was the most suitable choice since all my seniors from my mother have been well trained educationally. As God will have it, I gained admission to government secondary school learning for my higher school certificate, HSC program, in 1970. Having completed my secondary school education in 1969, I was also to pay a non-refundable acceptance fee within a given period. Otherwise, I would lose the admission as there was a long awaiting list. Expectedly, my father did not support my going for the HSC program. He vowed not to pay the acceptance fee. He insisted that I must join him in the, in the family business in Lagos so that he could retire. When it remained few days on the close, when it remained few days, to the closing date for the payment of the acceptance fee, my God sent uncle, engineer Joshua O. Oyeyibo, took the risk. As this action did not go down well with my father, came to my aid and paid the fee. After much persuasion and pleadings from various God sent quarters, my father eventually changed his mind and wished me well. Praise God. The boy of that day, who could have been a decent man in Lagos, is standing before you today by the grace of God as a professor of mathematics delivering the, his inaugural lecture. When God says yes, who can say no? Nobody. He is the only one that knows the end from the beginning. My interest in mathematics dates back to my secondary school days in Oroga, my school, Oro, Kuala State. The person that influenced, me, my, my, influenced my interest is the, is the, uh, sub, in the subject was Mr. A. 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 Adejile of Blessed Memory, a former principal of the secondary school, who was a disciplinarian and a good teacher. He did not condone either lateness to or absenteeism from the classes. Assignments were to be done and submitted as at when due. 
He made the subject very interesting. I used to look forward to attending his classes. May his dental soul rest in peace. Having completed the I asked school certificate program in 1971. I proceeded to Fifty College of Commerce, ADD, where I taught with great enthusiasm the subject mathematics for a year. There I met for the first time a student of the school who later became my first PhD student, Professor Timothy Oloyede of Ola. The following year, I gained admission into Ahmad Bey University, Abu Zaria, Kaduna State, to study. Mathematics. As God will have it, I obtained my BSc degree in mathematics in first class in 1976 using federal government scholarship. <laughs> During my National Youth Service Corps, I applied for jobs. I went to Baylor University. This better by far university, among others, offered me jobs. <laughs> Cons consequently, I decided to come home to Kuala State. And hence, I preached my tents here in the University of Illinois since August 10, 1977, to date. I started as an assistant lecturer, and in my quest for boarding fleets, I left in 1978 for one of the top universities in Canada, University of Waterloo, Waterloo where, with God's help, I meritoriously and my master's and PhD degrees, having won the prestigious Canadian Commonwealth Scholarship and the University of Waterloo Dean Scholarship. <laughs> On my return to Nigeria in 1984, I was given a trial two position at the Department of Mathematics, University of Illinois. Illinois. I was promoted to the post of lecturer one in 1986 and appointed senior lecturer in 1987. In 1990, I became a leader and by October 1st, 1993, I attained, by the grace of God, the chair of a full-fledged professor of mathematics. <laughs> the second of its kind in the history of the Department of Mathematics in West Africa. As a matter of fact, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the first homegrown professor of mathematics from Kuala State is standing before you to send you his congratulation today. I also served in the University of Florida at the second edge of the Department of Mathematics for a period of 10 years. All these were God's doing, and they are marvelous in my sight. Mr. Fashion Chancellor, sir, kindly permit me to sing at this juncture the following song to honor God, who has done all these wonderful things for me and for also making today a reality. Melo mo fero yi, ni nu ore ti jesu ishe. Melo mo fero yi, ni nu ore ti jesu ishe. Ore re ma po, o junyan ni o kula. Melo mo fero yi, a fi ki nishama jupe. Ore re ma po, o junyan ni o kula. Melo mo fero yi, a fi ki nishama jupe. The background. My main area of specialization is solid and fluid mechanics, and today's lecture is the first of its kind in this area for the Department of Mathematics, University of Illinois. It is, however, the fourth from the Department of Mathematics since the establishment in 1976. And today's notable event, I'm most grateful to God Almighty again and again. And I want also to thank my very amiable Vice Chancellor and the Vice Authority for the real opportunity granted me to, to deliver to this lecture, which is entitled God, the first and greatest mathematician, man, the ultimate user of mathematics. I also seize this opportunity to pay tribute to my colleagues who presented the earlier three inaugural lectures from the Department of Mathematics and Master of Philosophy. The first lecturer, late Professor Matthew Adeniju Ibiyejuba, the first head of the department, who delivered the 38th inaugural lecture of the university titled Living in the Best of All Possible Worlds on 24th May 1990. The second lecturer, Professor Timothy Oloyede Okola, 
the fourth head of the department, who presented the 97th inaugural lecture of the university in the year 2011. His lecture was titled, Mathematics, Faith That Works. The third one, Professor Rafael Babatunde Adeni, the immediate past head of the department, who delivered the 162nd inaugural lecture in the year 2016, titled Minimization of Error, a Necessary Condition for Accuracy, Stability, and Progress. Congratulations to them all. <laughs> Mr. Fantan Selosan, permit me to recall from Professor, you know, Professor Adepodu's inaugural lecture that any mathematician called upon to give a lecture on a topic within a discipline to general audience faces such a task with trepidation. He explained that the reason that mathematicians always have a problem in explaining their professions and discipline to non-mathematicians, even though the power and beauty of mathematics abound everywhere from the mundane issues that are taken for granted to the most sophisticated, breathtaking world inventions and discoveries. Professor Alipod went on to illustrate the mathematician dilemma in a general audience talk by the story of a group of professionals, a medical doctor, a lawyer, and a mathematician who were invited to talk on their professions and their impacts on the society. He lamented that while the other two shone before the audience, the mathematician largely succeeded in dishing out sleeping pills to the same audience. Majority went into slumber due to what they claimed to be the unattractiveness of the subject. The first chancellor, sir, like Professor Alibodu, attempted to keep his audience awake and listening throughout his inaugural lecture. I will similarly aim at that by avoiding the apathy, boredom, and willingness mostly associated with mathematics. Instead, I will discuss my subject from a general audience viewpoint, keeping the equations, formally, theorems, corollaries, and proofs at the minimum, at the barest minimum. <laughs> Let me begin by asking you rhetorically, what is this subject mathematics? And what do mathematicians do? The first answer of that. I will consider this lecture a most fulfilling accomplishment of my career. If by the end of it, I can make a good number of these August audience to at least know and uh, understand the answer to these two all important questions without necessarily arousing their interest in the subject. A. What is mathematics? You know as much as I do that counting is as natural that it can be said to be as old as human existence. If even more, it may be argued that it predates the existence of man, since most of the holy books mention counting with numbers by God, the Almighty, God being the first mathematician. Associated with the phenomenon of counting are the numbers. The numbers for counting are always known as natural numbers. These numbers are truly natural because they flow naturally even from the unknown initiated and the untaught in the gospel and even in the farmland. No mathematics is required to do counting. In a similar vein, it is also equally natural to keep records of indebtedness in negative terms against the debtors. This system of counting, gains and losses, became known as the all number system with a zero at the center as the no gain, no loss denotation. However, as one internet craves to tackle the emerging challenges of managing insufficiency among many needs, splitting or sharing became, or became necessary. For example, sharing an orange between two or more each ones. This, in many cases, led to non old numbers parts of a whole, referred to as fractions. The fractions, therefore, consist of two whole numbers 
was split into the numbers of places of the order. Further development led to the discovery of numbers not so divisible. Admitting such numbers gave the complete real number system. It must not go without mention the development of imaginary numbers, which co complements the real to tackle new and emerging challenges in human society and human endeavors. So, the main task of a mathematician is the study of the behavior and interaction of numbers. How they characterize various human endeavors, the move movements, and the interrelationship of objects in space, states, strength, and elasticity of matters, etc. For instance, how do numbers explain the distance covered in a, in a given time, where velocity and saturation of objects in space. These interactions are put together in a succinct formula by the mathematician, thus saving uh, a great deal of time, saving a great deal of time and energy dealing with many difficult tasks. For example, this is the distance S covered in a given time T by a car traveling at a given average speed V is S equals V multiplied by T, that is S equal to VT. The above formula shows the interaction among three only unspecified numbers, S, V, and T. The most intriguing art of mathematics is its non-specifying of the numbers being studied. Rather, this member, these numbers are studied in a groups, in groups known as sets. And this is what is called an ab 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 abstraction. It's a first answer also. Simply put, mathematics, therefore, is the study of numbers. It is the science of numbers, measurement, quantity, and space. B, what does a mathematician do? He propounds laws governing the interaction of numbers and also formulates, and form, formulates governing equations of those interactions, offers solutions to them, and studies the nature of such solutions. The mathematics of the laws come under the, so, the aspect of pure mathematics. Why they apply mathematics deals with the application of the guiding principle of pure mathematics to solving critical problems of man and its environment. In addition to unhappening the eating laws of numbers, the mathematicians have developed a number of technical subjects specific language of mathematical analysis known and commonly used within his community and among his people. The language of a people is, of course, their identity. All the on, onto, into, tend to, limit, if, if and only if, without loss of generality, and the various diverse symbols are the treatment of mathematics, and they are his playbooks. God the first and greatest mathematician. It's a fact answer also. It is natural for scientists to make deductions. From the title of this lecture, deductions can be made. Five deductions can be made. And the following five questions can be posed. One, what is mathematics? Two, who is a mathematician? Three, what makes God the first and greatest mathematician? Four, what are the two and four motion of study and the flow of fluids? And five, how has man used mathematics to in both the to and fro motion of solids as well as the flow of fluids. I have successfully answered the first two questions in the last few sections. Efforts will be made to present answers to the remaining questions. My amiable fashion fellow sir, ladies and gentlemen, there are two things that I'm very passionate about, namely God and mathematics. I want to share my passion with you all. Mathematicians propound the laws governing the interaction of these numbers. To answer the question, is God a mathematician? I would like to admit that, or submit that God is the first and greatest mathematician ever. This I will try to substantiate by going back to the very beginning of existence. The role of creation attests to the fact that the world is mathematically worked by one great marvelous and powerful God. 
the creator of all things. The laws of physics for the movement of the stock markets and even the way our brain functions can all be interpreted in the language of mathematics. This is in, this is in tandem with the words of Galileo Galilei, the father of modern science, who said that mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. Over the years, scientists have used mathematical concepts to give a vivid description of the physical properties of the universe. One of such scientists is the physicist Max Tegman, 2014. He believes that the whole universe itself is mathematics. In his view, everything in the universe, e.g. matter, particles, charge, spin, and humans included, is part of a mathematical structure. He said, there is something very mathematical about, the unit, about our universe. And the more carefully we look, the more mathematics we, find, we seem to find. So the bottom line is that if you believe in, in an external reality, independent of human, then you must also believe that our physical reality is a mathematical structure. Everything in our world is purely mathematical, including you. The factors in both theology and science have come to the conclusion that reality or absolute truth, or in other words, God, is an abstract that is not a reality that can be discovered by our sense or through our intellect. Since God created the universe according to the book of Genesis, the book of the beginning, and notable scientists believe that the world was formed as a result of mathematical expressions, then mathematics must be an expression, must be an expression of the mind of God. Hence, God is a mathematician. <laughs> Taking our journey through the only which we avail us the opportunity to comprehend the mathematical nature of the inspirer of the Holy, Holy Scriptures. Since God and His Word are one and the same. John 1.1. 1, 1. The Bible is a divine book contains the inspired word of God. It is, a full, it is full of numbers and their interactions. Since mathematics is, as said earlier, also the study of numbers and their interactions, then the Bible is a mathematical book. Mathematics was described earlier in this lecture as the science of numbers, measurements, quantity and space, and space. God is known to be very good at the art of measuring. For instance, he gave the exact dimensions of the ark in cubits to Noah as 300 by 50 by 30 in the book of Genesis, Genesis 6, 14. He also laid the foundation of the, of the ark, Job 38, 4, with which is dimension and discovered by scientists as a total surface area of 510 million square kilometers, 71% of it covered by water and 29% by land. The earth density is 5.51 kilograms per cubic centimeter and its radius about 6,371 kilometers. God, being a mathematician, made the earth to rotate at, on an inclined axis so that it takes it about 1,440 minutes a day to complete the rotation. The same planet Earth was made to revolve around the sun simultaneously on its own orbit and distance from the sun. God again carried out the relevant calculations and came up with the Earth completing revolution in 365 days a year. This Earth still exists. This Earth still exists. Nobody has ever carried out any repair or maintenance work on it. Mr. Vice Chancellor Sam, all the measurements, formulae, and calculations made and used by God before the existence of any human mathematician are still intact, valid, and operational. <laughs> Hence, God is the first and the greatest mathematician. It is therefore not surprising that among his many names, is called by two Greek alphabets, commonly used as mathematical symbols, Alpha and Omega. 
the first and last. I, Muhammad, magician, came after him and went, but God remains forever. It can be concluded from the foregoing discussion that God is indeed the first and greatest mathematician. He did and still does a lot of numbers and their interactions. Before I proceed to attempt some of my research, focus, and discoveries, permit me to highlight some basic issues, some fundamental concepts. Let us start by saying a few things. Thank you. Let's say, let us start by saying a few things on matter and motion. Matter refers to everything in the universe that has mass and takes up space. Motion, on the other hand, may be said to take place with an object when an object is displaced from one point to another. It can be observed that all things God created involve one form of motion or the other. According to about 2007, motion is a prime is a prime action in any life activity. Two other key words in this lecture are the words to and fro motion. To have a good grasp of meaning of these words, one has to discuss some example of this particular motion. As a matter of fact, some everyday example of the to and fro motion include hearing due to the to and fro motion of our ear drums. Children, when we are cold, the movement of our heart, snoring in sleep, movement of atoms and lots more. Also, like the Yoruba described the word Oho morning as apricanical. So, is speech not possible except by the to and fro motion of our tongues and lips? <laughs> Stretching the meaning of a to and fro motion for that, one can conclude that many of events of our everyday life have a psychic quality. What a shaky world we live in. The, the significance of this type of motion can also be seen in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, which says that the eyes of God are set into this characteristic to and fro motion whenever he, God, wants to fight for and defend his own children throughout the universe. That this is so can be found in 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9, which says, For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Without exaggeration, I could also, it could also be said that the to and fro motion plays a significant role in all branches of science. It is not, however, intended to discuss the motion of all this motion in all its generality in this lecture. This discussion will eventually dovetail into the to and fro motion of elastic structures. Consider a situation where one attempts to uncork a bottle. If the cork is tightly fixed, tightly fitted, one attempts to reduce the frictional opposing force by twisting the cork back and forth. Doing this amounts to using an undeniably useful to and fro motion. As seen from the above examples, the to and the two and four motion will be useful, friendly, and essential. However, the study of the two and four motion may be very complicated and fascinating. It is a subject whose stake may be high. It may be a matter of life or death. Substantial amount is being spent on the study of several forms of motion. Such a study may aim at either controlling the motion as being something that is a that is eventually essentially desirable or being concerned with the reason why such emotion occurs and if possible, stop it. Figures 1A and B depict the photographs taken during the two and four motion of the suspension bridge over the Tacoma Narrows in Washington state of the US. The two and four motion was due to a small steady wind which led to the collapse of the bridge soon after it was opened for use on the 7th November 1940. This shows how destructive the two and four motion can be. No structural engineer who want to repeat this costly mistake. And the two and four motion has been the subject of very close examination. I would be in 1977 in a similar lecture had this to say concerning this incident of Tacoma Narrows Bridge. This unexpected lack effect 
of initially small disturbances has ever seen taught traditionally static civil engineering designer to consult to and fro motion engineers to make careful examination of the dynamic stability of any light structures like a bridge, dam, skyscraper, or tower for each of its six degree of freedom of motion before commissioning a half-baked design of a structure for use by the client. And I count on my research focus and contributions. Mr. Fasher, sir, sir. My work since the last decades that I joined this great university has been that of a blacksmith making use of mathematical theories to model some practical problems involving some elastic structures and carrying out the analysis of the behavior of such models. Moreover, I have studied the mechanics of deformable solids, mechanics of fluids, and classical thermodynamics, and, and so on, using diverse mathematical uh, tools such as theory of ordinary and partial differential equations, theory of integral equations, numerical methods, and complex analysis. I've also carried out some useful research in both free mechanics and complex analysis. The studies and the results from the data from the data have been well documented by Professor Chivo Okola in the Snowpia Lecture of 2011 and will therefore not be discussed here today to avoid the issue. Let me start by presenting a brief highlight of some of my little research focus and contributions, which could be categorized into mathematical model of free or force to and fro motion of structures and dynamics of the flow of some Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, all focusing man as the ultimate user of mathematics. Moving concentrated low problems. Earlier in 1990, Bandin and ISC studied the problem of determining the, the effect of Helvis foundation on the response of simply supported final beam to the longitudinal oscillating force. Special attention was paid to the resonance of the system. New resonance conditions involving the physical elasticity of the foundation and the cyclic motion of the work table. Moving distributed load problems, beams, we have either to in discussing the movie as uh, concentrated load problems for beams. In general, these moving load problems can be discussed from, the, from two field points, the point of concentrated load and the distributed or partially distributed load formulation. The first formulation is the most common one. This is perhaps due to the fact that it's a simplified version of the second. Although the computer works on concentrated loads are impressive in the sense that they provided some basic and useful results and easier or to argue mathematically. They, however, do not represent the physical reality of the problem. For the moving load problem formulation to be realistic, the area or the interval for the for the load distribution must be considered. As a matter of fact, no point or concentrated point load exists physically. To this end. The starting um, to this end, and starting with the analysis involving relation, the works in the following listed papers were carried out in this direction. Moving load, moving distributed load problems, plates. Mr. Fisher said, fact, sir, my contribution to the study of elastic plates subjected to distributed moving loads started with the work I published with two of my former doctoral students. Professor M. S. Dada and Professor A. S. Idowu in Badayan Dada and Idowu 2000. We had the two and four motion analysis of non mingling plates traversed by uniformly distributed moving loads was carried out. All the works discussed above concern non mingling plates for which the effect of rotatory inertia and shear deformation were assumed negligible. However, Badayan and Dada 2006 studied the dynamic response of mingling elastic plates. Under the influence of uniform, partially distributed moving load. The governing equations for the middle elastic plates were expressed in dimensionless forms and then transformed into the equivalent algebraic linear equations using the finite difference scheme. More work in this direction can be found 
in the following listed papers. Bandingham Ahmed method for double plate, for double B or plate moving load problem. This is the same I observed that in all the previous work on double, triple, multiple beams, moving load problems available in the, in, in, the, in the literature, only moving force as opposed to moving loads problem have been studied. In other words, war, the, the mass of the moving load has been considered negligible. Mr. Fajan Selosa, by the year May 2017, developed a new general versatile solution technique to determine the effect of, a, of the mass of a moving load of constant magnitude and velocity on the dynamic response of a finite prismatic double beam system interconnected by a physical elastic core. The technique was called by the Ahmed method and was published in the reputable Chinese Journal of Mathematics. A two-dimensional modified version of the set by the Ahmed method for double plate moving load problems has also been developed and published in Berlin et al. 2018. More results using by the Ahmed method have been reported in Agola, Badeo, and Iyase. 2017B and 2017C, and by the year 2019. Some comments on cases of bridge videos failure in Nigeria. The incident of failure and collapse of load bearing structures, such as bridges for road and rail and pedestrian, constitute a major concern of the, to developing nations like Nigeria. As a matter of fact, the causes of bridge failures in Nigeria are, are the cases of bridge failures in Nigeria are at an, at an alarming rate and have brought on untold hardship to the citizens. Quite a number of bridges in the country, because of their state of disrepair, are not traversable. AD et al. 2019, in their conference paper, reported that over 90 cases of bridge failure have been witnessed in Nigeria to the, to the la, in the last two decades. Yet, very little or no attention has been paid to this phenomenon. To the best of my knowledge, few official studies have been carried out to determine the causes of the failures in Nigeria. And the critical data are rare. As a matter of fact, it was uh, revealed that the main source, sources of data used in carrying out the investigation were online news sources. Notwithstanding, a good knowledge of this failure and, and collapse cases. And what led to them will help in the future construction of more durable and uh, strong bridges. The causes of bridge failure, however, cannot be generalized considering the fact that every case of bridge failure recorded has its own distinct features and properties. Aide et al. made attempt to compile cases of bridge failures in Nigeria, as well as identifying some likely causes of this failure. The records of bridge failures in tables one and two have been extracted from one, the work of Eddie et al. containing bridge collapse cases, which occurred in Nigeria during the period 2010 and 2019. And two, the more recent cases found in some Nigerian dailies. The table outlines some bridges uh, in Nigeria, which collapse were occasioned by flooding caused by heavy rainfall on one hand, fatigue and, and assistant loading on the other hand. The tables are shown up. One observed from table one that cases of bridge collapse in Nigeria occurred most frequently in Niger State, followed by Kwara and Anambra State within the period 2010 and 2019 considered. On the other hand, table two shows that Enugu State leads. Figure two about shows the picture of the case of a bridge failure in Bayesa State, the Elebele Bridge, serial number five in table two, in the local government area of Bayesa State, was reportedly first consulted in the year 1986 with wood and iron by the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited. Figure 3 shows motorists and commuters left stranded after the collapse of Tumowo Bridge, serial number 4 in Table 1, which occurred in June 2018, 
after he had issued the uniform. It remains the untold ashes the bridge failure brought on no users. From the foregoing, the principal factors responsible for failure of bridges in most places are poor structural design, which does not take cognizance of calculations involving the effect of overloading and overspeeding. This motion, this assertion, validates the significance of determining the response of a bridge to moving loads during this design. In other words, a bridge design should transcend the physical bridge structure itself by including all the elements such as the effect of dynamic loading that influence the safe operation of such a bridge from the beginning to the end of its life state, lifespan. The fluid of flows. Fluid mechanics can be described as a study of behavior of fluid under the condition of rest and motion. It involves application of the fundamental laws encountered in physics. Studying the behavior of fluids is essential in the analysis of fluid models. It is needed to, in order to understand various problems ranging from the study of blood flows in the arteries and veins to the flow of crude oil say, across Niger Delta region of Nigeria, for example. Principles of fluid mechanics are required to explain why airplanes are built streamlined with, with smooth surfaces for the most efficient flight, while on the other hand, golf balls are made with rough surfaces to improve their efficiency. My contribution in the mathematics of the dynamics of the flow of some Newtonian and non-Newtonian things is a fashion set of time. I must say that the want of time and space for the work, or want of time and space, the discussion of my contribution in, to this important area of mathematics, the dynamics of fluid flows, will be summarized. Magnetic dynamic MHD flow of Newtonian and non-Newtonian flow. The study of uh, Mr. Fajan Sibasa by Badi, uh, Badi and Andy, 1997, published some results concerning the combined influence of radiation and physical dissipation on MHD flow in a vertical channel. The channel was assumed to have been permitted by a uniform transfer magnetic flow. Approximate analytical solution for this velocity, temperature, and induced magnetic field were obtained in the optically finding limiting case when the difference is in temperature between the channel's walls and that of the undisturbed fluid was large enough for free convention current to occur. Further remarks on the citation of my scholarly works. It is remarked that, with all humility of at this juncture, that my research results have appeared in peer review and high quality, quality scholarly journals, and books published by reputable publishers and indexed in major world's leading database of publication, including web of science, WS, and Scopus. The first database gave the useful information that I have that I have 23 publications in the web of science core collection. Moreover, to date, as of early 2020, these contributions have been cited 189 times by 165 articles. In my author's profile, as accessible on the web of science website, my age index is six. The citation report generated by Scopus well, also in the case that 42 of my scholarly contributions have been cited 302 times by not less than 249 research articles. By the grace of God, I've made an appreciable impact in the field of mathematics, especially in solid and fluid mechanics. My citation network in the Scopus database puts my age index as eight validating my research work. Recommendations. Mr. Fashan said, sir, permit me at this juncture to add a few drops to the ocean of recommendations already made in, my, in many earlier inaugural lectures of mathematicians of the field in Nigeria, hoping that someday policymakers will stumble on them and make them work. I have a recommend as follows. The Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute was established to conduct integrated research and development activities 
into various aspects of the building and road construction industry. It is recommended, therefore, that the Institute's responsibilities should include identification and investigation of the stretch bridges with a view to determining the extent, causes, and the media measures before eventual collapse. Imagine that. Imagine what will happen if, God forbid, the main bridge over our new river, close to the lakeside and Dama village, situated within the main campus, falls and fails and collapses. It will bring on ownership on all the members of the university community, students, academics, and non-academics alike. We will be forced to come into, into and go out from the campus through UITH or Fufu. Many members of staff will be coming to work and getting back home after closing hours very late. I propose, therefore, that the Battle of Florida should consequently pioneer setting up the regulations for both the speeds and weight of vehicles plying the main road leading into the main campus. Bus and taxi drivers who are always in a hurry should be made to obey the speed and weight limits rules that the university will have set up. Contractors who are found fond of sending in heavy and overloaded trucks should be prevented from doing so. Instead, they should be mandated to send in their loads in, in bits so as to reduce the weight of such vehicles. <laughs> Acknowledgement, my greatest appreciation and immense adoration, as well as praises go to the Almighty and merciful God for his protection on failing ideas and being my source of inspiration as well as my strength. Oh my God, I'm very, very grateful for all you have done for me. And I say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm also grateful to God for my late parents, Kajuel Alemon Badeyan and Madame Abigail Adedini Badeyan. I cannot forget their care, love, support, and strict discipline. These trainees have gone a long way to mold my character. Though you both did not have the formal Western education, yet you try to give me education to the university level. It is however sad that none of you will live long enough to reap the fruits of your labor. I will continue to remember and cherish you both. Sweet mother, you are a prayer group warrior. This prayer showered on me are all answered. May the departed souls of both of you continue to rest in peace. I also wish to thank all my teachers and lecturers at the following institutions. Christ Agrika Primary School, Domo Oro, Kuala State, Oro Gama School, Oro, Kuala State, Government Secondary School, Ilori, Kuala State, Amadou Bello University, Aruma State, Nigeria, and University of Waterloo, Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. I can only hope that I have not let them down academically. I'm grateful to them all. I wish to express my sincere vision to all my colleagues, past, present, academic, and non-academic, in the Faculty of Physical Sciences, University of Florida, my colleagues in the Faculty of Life Sciences, University of Florida, and in particular, my colleagues in the Department of Mathematics, University of Florida, for their support over the years. My gratitude also goes to my present and former undergraduate students for their love and support at various stages of my academic profession. There were four men and a lady who were very dear to me and would have been here today. These are a, my nephew, Mr. John Oluwashe Mbadeji. B, my niece, Anuluako Idogu. C, my first senior brother, Engineer M. B. Badeji. D, my second senior brother, Dr. J. Rotimi Idogu, the former pump set of Minister of Health Quarter State. And E, my, mother, my brother in law, Pastor Joseph Ademola Aboladi. This would have given me at least a congratulatory hug or handshake at the end of this lecture, but that grabbed them away a few years ago. I will continue to remember them all. May your departed souls rest in peace. I only, I only attendly thank my precious senior sister, Mrs. Mary Otunla Mwajibani, for her own love of fleeting love, support, and understanding. I pray that the mercy and faithfulness of God will never depart from you and members of your family. I will always cherish you all, especially your husband, Mr. Ephraim Ajibadi, who deals with me as one of his siblings. 
the two of them came home for this uh, lecture, and they are the, the two of them are sitting down there. My appreciation also goes to the wives of my late senior brothers, Mrs. Rebecca Adrian Pekbadi and Mrs. Mary Ekinomoitu, and all their children. I cannot thank them all enough. To all members of Senate, particularly the members between 2005 and 2009, who elected me as Dean of Postgraduate Schools, University of Philly, I say thank you and God bless you all. Mr. Fashion Silver I really thank God for enabling me to choose this career. I praise God for making me a mathematician. Specifically, I derive naturally joy, strength, and pleasure from teaching and supervising both of the graduate and postgraduate students. I take interest in praying for, for and monitoring their progress. Many of the postgraduate students have ended up being my friends and, and companies. Moreover, by the, same, by the grace of God, I successfully supervised a total of 76 postgraduate cases. These are made up of one, 33 PhD thesis and 39 master's thesis, all at University of Technology. Two, one PhD thesis at Federal University of Agriculture, Abel Kutah, Ogun State. And, uh, and uh, one master's thesis and two PhD thesis at Competence University of Tainugu State. In addition, I'm currently providing four PhD thesis, three of which are at University of Learning and the fourth one at Company University. The first, of, the first two are almost ready to be processed for the registration of their titles. I hereby sincerely register my indebtedness to all these postgraduate students, past and present. You have all inspired me at one time or the other of my chosen career. You will all go better than me. It is on record that at least 17 of them, in other words, 14 professors, and three associate professors are currently occupying professional cleaner, while some, some have reached the pinnacles of their career. For instance, one of them, Professor Daniel Simon, has just finished his tenure as the deputy vice chancellor of Kaduna State University, while another, Professor Charles Ayode, Korede Ayode, finished his tenure as the vice chancellor of Kaduna University of a few years ago. He, Ayode, is also currently the premier vice chancellor of Trinity University, Lagos. Lagos. <laughs> I thank God also for the lives of Professor E.T. Dolayemi and Professor B.A. Regula, the remaining two legs of the three-legged stand. You guys have been so nice, honest, and wonderful to be for over 40 years. I've enjoyed our companionship. I have a strong opinion that we can send of all that. Friendship for over 40 years is a friendship indeed. I also extend my gratitude to the wife. Professor M. S. Dada, academic child in the world. Professor K. Wabala, academic grandchild in the world. <laughs> Dr. O. O. Agola, academic child, C. Dr. A. A. Obama, Nuga, academic child, C. Congo University. Architect S. K. Adeyemi, childhood friend. And Dr. Mrs. Abigail Michelle Welka, biological. I found very long road to make sure that you know this inaugural lecture does not work. I thank you all for your tremendous assistance. You are all wonderful. I thank all the past special service of this great better by far university. I've worked with them all. My academic career has benefited from them all. Friends, special thank you to the current God fearing thanks by Chancellor Professor Suleiman again of Karim. He meets my brother in need and ends the brother in pain. He knew me from my second school days, and of all the ten vice chancellors I worked and still work with, with, he understands me most. In addition, I'm currently the acting, acting dean of Faculty of Physical Sciences and chairman board of this side and government under his administration. I'm immensely grateful for, for his sponsor. In like manner, I appreciate my current registrar, Dr. Mrs. Bola M. Oluleni, and all our predecessors. I must not conclude this lecture without appreciating the following. My beloved bearer, senior brother, uncle, or senior male relations, Mr. Momotai Oadudu and his family, we offer some useful suggestions and make some grammatical corrections while writing this lecture. 
this wonderful wife from Ofa, who is now a speaker at Dominion Lady, is also highly acknowledged. Um, also, thank you to Dr. Tayo S. Ayde, my very close in Dominion brother. Himself, Professor O. A. Lassoni, and Director Adebayo, and Professor Benjamin A. Yedola, went through the first part of this lecture, dotting the eyes and crossing the teeth. I thank them all. I also thank Mrs. Dea Molani and Mrs. Yetune and Fadelibe for the title of the Martin Manuscript. The input of the library and publication committee under the leadership of Professor A. Bissarone is highly appreciated. I sincerely appreciate his royal highness, the Oruro of Oru, and the chiefs for praising this occasion. I also especially thank the chiefs from the Domo Oru and the Fair Domo Oru community present. I am also grateful to the Domino community within and outside the university of Alane Kona and the Wahoo. My deceased doctoral students, Professor W.A. Kolagadi, Professor F.O. Akipenu, and undergraduate student, late Professor Vidyon T. Okedayo, were all very close to me. May their gentle souls rest in peace. I thank Mr. Jim Bakari of Alasha Company, Domuru, who labored to lead me to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. My father-in-law, late Paha Moses Abolani, and my mother-in-law, Madam Lydia Abolani, have been wonderful. Thank you, Mama, for taking good care of all except those who were born in Canada, my children, when they were babies. My brothers and sisters, Mr. Emmanuel Bedingham, Pastor Jim Bedingham, Pastor Adebisi Bedingham, Pastor David Bedingham, Mrs. Molani today, Mrs. Mulayo Adibuli, and Mrs. Evita Adituli. God bless you all and members of your families. My uncle, Engineer Joshua Oyeripo, who has said earlier, paid the required deposit for my admission into the HSC program. I also appreciate his wife. She is naturally very pleasant. Your children do not like anything good in Jesus' name. My brother-in-law, Mr. James Abolari and his family, my sisters-in-law and their families, Mrs. Muyo Abekunde and Mrs. Sarah Afolabi, my classmates in secondary school, as well as in the HSC program, I thank you all for your support. I will be an ingrate if I fail to appreciate all the ministers of God and members of Glory Chapel Ministry, where I fellowship, for their own alloyed care, prayers, and support. In particular, special thanks to all members of the Council of Elders. I want to express my profound gratitude and very deep appreciation to my darling wife, Lady Evangelist, Mrs. Felicia Tijuadi Bali. You are indeed one of my ribs. You have been, you have been my guardian angel, confident, and strong pillar of support. I also thank God for blessing our family with five obedient and God-fearing children. This comprise of four beautiful ladies. Dr. Mrs. Grace Ibukumolua Oshenweka, Mrs. Ruth Olua Oshenweka, Engineer Mrs. Rhoda Olua Tony Adiwala, and along with everybody. And one gentleman, <laughs> Mr. Tanito Olua Badiwala, who happens to be the baby of the house, but a colleague of mine. All oh, except the, the last, both graduated, the last born, graduated from this better by far university. And they are all, by the grace of God, doing well in their closing careers. I also thank and appreciate all my in-laws, the entire Ocean Workers family, the family of Dr. and Dr. Mrs. O. O. Itali, Chief and Mrs. Adi Wallace family, and the family of Pastor and Mrs. Ola Shibito. You are all wonderful. I immensely acknowledge love, care, and support of all my son-in-law and the daughter-in-law in person of Dr. Nusa, Oshenweka, Dr. Toyosi, Ulitati, Engineer Bayo, Adewala, and Mrs. Toyin, Gadea. You have all been sons and a daughter to me. I'm very proud of you all. I give all praises to God for giving us the following handsome and beautiful grandchildren. Adesua, Oshenweka, Joel Adewala, Joan Ulitati, Christabel Oshenweka, Jason Ulitati, Flores Badinger, and John Luapemi Adewala, God bless you all, and together we shall all make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Mr. Vice Chancellor Sam, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all what is left for me is to thank you all for bearing with me for the past few hours or so. I thank you, and may God bless you.
guests immediately after the reception just at the back here but all other invited guests they are to head towards the university town and the next the woman who will be taking the party from professor Badino is uh, professor Adetong Omololai who will be delivering the vice chancellor Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful one hour. It's a tradition that the Investor of Glory to appreciate all those who took the trouble to uh, grace on our events, particularly this one, the inaugural lectures. We also have a tradition of recognizing some personalities, and uh, I will go on to do so. The owner of Bolo, Oba Abirafiu, Oyelan Raki Oye, is here. He's here with his amazing wife, the owner of the Oba. There are also chiefs from the Jomu Oro, we recognize you. The Alagbe Ku of Agbe Ku is also here over Dr. Agbola. We recognize the elder sister to Professor Agbade Young, Mrs. E. Ajiboye Aji Bade, who is here with her husband. All the members of Bade Young family that are here present will recognize you. All members of the Bolari family present, and he loves to recognize you. Mrs. E. M. Idowu, Professor Luke Ebola, the former Deputy Vice Chancellor in the Stabulary. Engineer Mrs. E. O. Yeibo, Professor S. Adeboye, Mrs. Al Badeo. Professor Mosbao, the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Technology. Shibadewa and family from ACMU and Zero. Doctor and Doctor, Mrs. Oho Olukadi, General of the CM, Glory Capital International Church in Bari, number 92. Pastor and Pastor, Mrs. Oloji, the Condena Student and Christ Power Chapel, Adoe Kiti. You are welcome. Professor K. Tadeye D. of Kwasu, a classmate of the inaugural lecturer. All leaders of Glory Chapel International are here present. Members of Glory Chapel International. A title friend of uh, the inaugural lecturer, architect and architect, uh, 
and Dr. Mrs. S. K. Adeyemi, Professor and Dr. Mrs. Uh, Jola Eli, another childhood friend, Professor and Mrs. D. A. W. Jola, another childhood friend, Professor S. S. Okoya of Mathematics Department, OAU. All past and present Congress students of the Department of Mathematics, University of Learning. <laughs> Professor Paul Adenu Kayoyide, Foreign Vice Chancellor Thomas Adenu University of Mountain Vice Chancellor University of Learning. Honorable Ibina Kola Shitu, Chairman, People's Democratic Party, Bara State, Welcome. The Chief Imam of the Domoro, Mr. Ali Kikre from the U.S. Professor Amor Opera University of Kari Taraba State. <laughs> Dr. Lupo Anamed. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, Head of the Department of... That's not Yamed. Yeah, okay, but well, you are in the state which you know, right? <laughs> Head of the Department of Mathematics. Dr. Lupo Anamed, Head of the Department of Mathematics, Peach University of Abuja. <laughs> Professor Opi Oloidi. Vice Chancellor of Summit University of Paris. Members of the Executive that I have present led by Barista Teddy Obutoni. The classmates of the inaugural lecturer and others from Oro Grammar School. Classmates of the inaugural lecturer and others from Gomez Oro School in Lorry. The entire young Oro community. Delegation from Lounge and Oro School led by Professor Uluyo and Dr. Bio Legendary. <laughs> Former students of the inaugural lecture, and I want to list them. Professor and Mrs. Reni Odekunde of Mount Yola. Professor Wai Yahaya of Bekechi Bina. Professor Wai Adekuli of Babcock University. Professor Olari Waiki of Federal University of Ukari. Professor Olati Wawwe Yilepe. Professor Tio Opola of the University of Learning. Delegation from the Regional University and the comprising Professor S. A. Arik, Dr. M. O. Wadi, Dr. A. S. Ononaye, and Dr. O. S. Adishina. And then Yuri, the wife of my noble and all right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Shall we all rise for the university? Of the
Vice Chancellor. While we remain standing, then we have the university store. Nobody should cross the, the session. Let's have the immediate family of the inaugural lecturer after the scholars. Please remain where you are. The immediate family members, then our royal fathers.